Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Good morning, everybody. How you all going today? Look at this crisp blue. Just a few little scattered clouds over that way. What a glorious day. All right, so tomorrow the electrician's coming. And, uh, yeah, I've been waiting for a while. But he's a very busy man. And you'll get to see him all tomorrow. You've seen him before when he's done work on my place. He's an excellent Sparky and I highly recommend him. But uh, you'll see that tomorrow. So we're just getting everything ready. Make sure I've got everything here that came in the box. So these are 440 watt Jinko split cell split panels. I'll just, I'm hoping you can read that. I can't even see the camera. I'm actually reaching over right now. All right, so what's needed for an insulation like this? Well, the existing racking up there is fine. So we're not going to be replacing the racking. It's already got earth uh, connectors on it, grounding connectors on it. Um, so if he can reuse them, he will. Otherwise, I've got new ones. So up there is grounding plates. These go on every bolt, every panel. Okay, and they pierce the uh, aluminium and just help ground it a bit better. Stainless steel grounding plates. Uh, we've got cable retainers that just clip to the edges of the panels and it helps uh, retain the cables up out of the you know, hides them up underneath the solar panels. And on this side we have 16 30 millimeter end clamps. Uh, here we have some joiners in case you need racking joiners. And over here we have 16 mid plates. Okay, these, these keep the middle of the panels down. Uh, and that should be all we need. He will use what he needs. And of course any wiring and all that he'll already have. But I do have a box of connectors and all that sort of stuff. In case uh, they needed MC4 connectors. Um, I've got a kit with MC4 connectors and MC4 pliers and all that sort of stuff in them. Crimpers in case I need to make any new cables. But Wesley will be here tomorrow morning if all goes well. I'm hoping it's not raining tomorrow. Okay, now I got some other bits here on the table. So my new 30 amp Victron charger arrived to replace that bad not working CTEC and we're pretty sure it wasn't working right from the day we got the damn thing but um, it's definitely not working now it's in the rubbish bin probably where CTEC belongs but anyway I'm not going to get into that that's just my opinion so I bought a 30 amp Victron uh, these are easy to fit Use my other hand, my left hand. There we go. So there you go, you just fit the plus and minus outputs there. You can see it's got a fuse. And uh, you screw it all up. And then you put your end cap back on again. It doesn't come with the outlet cables, they used to. They don't anymore, but uh, I have made use of the C-Tech, so I've just cut this off. This has a temperature sensor on it. I'll just cut that cable. It's already got a 50 amp Anderson plug on it. The cable's heavy enough. It's long enough, so that's the cabling I'll be using in there. 
Um, I would like to see a little cable retainer added into this 30 amp charger somehow. I don't know how they would do it, but if I was going to improve this charge controller uh, any more than Victron already are, I mean, Vic look, Victron are pretty good stuff, okay? And I don't get paid for saying that, so... I mean, their uh, smart chargers are really good. All right. I don't think much of their inverters, but uh, their smart chargers are pretty good, and their smaller charge controllers are okay. Their bigger ones tend to overheat and do all sorts of weird shit, but um, the small ones are absolutely fine. And yeah, they're, they're AC battery chargers. I've just yeah, they're, they're, they're just really really good. All right, and another thing I picked up while I was perusing eBay, because you all know we're going to be um, rebuilding the electrical system in the camper trailer when, when that gets back, and I'll be doing that myself. Um, and I found this gorgeous little bus bar, absolutely gorgeous little bus bar, and it's just uh, like from here... I will go out to um, fuse boxes and all that sort of stuff. This is just a main outlet bus bar. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Let me just put this camera down for a second while I open it. There we go. Okay. And these are really heavy. I'd, I'd say this will take probably easy 35 millimeter squared cable. Okay. And it's already got the uh, wire retainers in there, so you don't need to use... Well, you can, if you want to, use boot laces, ends, but... Um, I might. I don't think I will. I don't think I need to use boot lace ends on this, because it's, it's already got the retainers built in. Uh, same as this side. And, I mean, they look like probably 16. Oh, maybe 10. But I'll have a look what, what cable size fits in there, and that's the size of the cable I'll use out to everything else. But basically, and it's got little lights, so if any of these fuses blow where I mount this, I'll be able to see the lights and know that I've got a blown fuse. Um, it comes with the six fuses that you see in there, two 30s, two 60s, and two 100s. Um, of course, you don't have to use those if you've got. I've got, I've got bags and bags of fuses, so I'll be putting the right size in for what I actually need. But this side here is for the negatives. As you can see, it's got two in, so you can, yeah, put two negatives, and you can go to another one of these if you wanted to. Same as this, it's got a uh, an inlet there and, a, and an inlet at this end. I mean, this is just a... I got this off eBay, like I say, and it was damn affordable. And I thought, well, look, it looks really good. What's the worst thing? You know, if it gets here and it just turns out to be junk, um, then I've only lost a few dollars. But this is wow. I was really impressed at how well this was built. And you can see they've got uh, little clips on all the screws that hold all the bars in. You can see that there, they've got covers that covers the screws. Um, I don't know how, how, how they can do something like this for such a... I would have easily uh, paid... Well, I would have paid a lot more than I paid for it, let's put it this way, but I don't know on the quality of it. And it is absolutely beautiful. If any of you need, I will give you a link. Otherwise, again, I'm not... Uh, being paid to say anything good or, or, or anything else but this is a real nice piece of kit it's really well put together I like it it's small it's compact uh, the wire separation distance is good um, it's, it's just an absolute beautiful uh, little secondary uh, bus bar to come off to, I don't know, whatever you want, whatever you want to come off to, hot water systems, 
um, whatever you want to come off to this is perfect absolutely perfect like I say I'll be well I will be coming off to the hot water system and I will also be bringing um, the solar in here and the charges and everything else will be going through a uh, another uh, circuit, another fuse holder, another big fuse holder um, that will be coming off this as well. So, yeah, there you go, people. I wanted to show you this. I am really impressed with this. Really, really impressed. Um, I mean, this is a heavy, heavy bit of kit beautifully made it's it's well put together um, and the fact that they even put the fuses in it I wish uh, Victron would do that with theirs their bus bars uh, instead of selling them for an outrageous price afterwards if you buy the genuine Victron which are just re-stamped as we know but they're nice okay these are really really nice piece of kit okay so there's the update um, like I say, this is the cord off the C-Tech, probably the only good part of it left. And I'll just be cutting off the, cutting back the uh, temperature probe, because we don't need that. And wiring this up to the bottom. And the only way you can improve these little charges further, Victron, is probably making them a bit bigger and put some form of cable retention in there. Uh, actually that would be my wish you know if you could make them better um, that would be the only way because they're made really good I mean they, 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 they come apart well the bits you gotta you, the bit you gotta use on like uh, they don't fall off they got a lovely little fuse in there if you just made this a bit longer and put a cable retainer just here that would be absolutely fantastic otherwise it's a beautiful piece of kit all right, YouTube, so there we go. I probably look a bit rough this morning, but it doesn't matter. I've been working. Um, so, yeah, I'm going get, to get this temporarily mounted, this charger. I'm going to temporarily mount it into the camper trailer. The, um, distribution block I've got here, uh, that, that goes away until uh, when we come back from our camping trip. And... Then I have to strip everything out. I'm going to strip all the wiring out. I'm going to totally uh, redo the full electrical on that camper trailer. And uh, it'll be a work of art by the time I'm finished. Let me tell you, it'll be nice. All the fuses will be easy accessible. They're not at the moment because I've just sort of gone with what was in the trailer and expanded it. Um, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm just going to rip it all out and start from scratch and rewire the whole whole thing all right that's it that's my little update video i hope you are all well eh um i've got a bit of a head cold and oh god but it is a glorious day and it's too uh, too good for me to go well i've got a head cold i'm going back to bed it's it's just too good a day for that so i'm gonna put up with it and uh enjoy this I'm just going to enjoy this. Keep safe, everyone. Bye for now.